What's up guys, Curtis here, and welcome to a little video today explaining this week's Team of the Week, just their stats, stuff like that, and what I think of each individual player. Now, what I will say to you guys is, apologies, it was up as late as possible, I'm going to try and get this up at 4pm every Wednesday so that you can be straight on the mark with the Team of the Week, but... Uh, EA decided to take the servers down from 3 p.m. till 4, uh, till 6, sorry, so I wasn't able to get access to it. However, luckily, I've just found out it's been uploaded to Foothead, so that's currently where I'm watching it, uh, re looking at it now, even, sorry, at Foothead. So I'm going to walk for each player, and then down below, we'll look at the subs, um, and give my uh, opinion on that. Sorry, I don't even know why I can't talk. So we're going to start with the goalie. It's Mark Ander Tusturgeon. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he's the Borussia Mönchengladbach goalkeeper. Very, very good. Young. Uh, I can see that in form will go quite well. Be it. I think I believe it's the first German goalkeeper uh, in form. So he will do nicely. So the first centre back is Jeromel. Jer not entirely sure how you pronounce his name. Apologies for that. He's Brazilian, a centre back, not very highly rated, not too much pace. He does play in the league of BBVA, but he isn't too great. So I wouldn't really want to pick him up. The second centre back is Koscielny. Now I may be a little bit biased here, being an Arsenal fan, but I personally think his not informed card is fantastic. So I've this is one of the few cards in this team of the week that I would very much like to get. He looks very very good, good pace. Good overall stats and uh, all round pretty beast. So the right back here is Aguila. He plays for uh, America. I believe that's what that team is. 80 pace, all right. Uh, defender, good all round stats, I guess. But um, not really one that you'd be too excited about. Left mid, we have Jorkaev. I believe he's been moved from a right mid to the left. Uh, he's got 79 pace. N not really that special stats and there's not really a lot to say about him. Fellaini is probably the only other player I'd be interested, possibly him and Rodriguez in getting uh, impacts from these. Fellaini has 73 pace, which is not bad for an attacking mid. 76 dribbling, 82 defence, 85 heading, and 82 passing. Now that, they're very, very good stats. He's very tall. He'd be a very solid player. I personally would actually move him down to a centre mid or a defensive mid because with stats like those and passing like that, that is something that will be absolutely brilliant. So the second player in the uh, central midfield area is Tony Cruz and he is terrible. <laughs> 57 pace and people say uh, EA say pace isn't as important this year but if you've got 57 pace and you're attacking mid you have got no chance. That's the moral of the story. Over here we have Rodriguez at, of Porto. Uh, I believe he has moved from a right mid or a right wing to attack it, uh, central attacking mid which is very good. There's some very nice stats there. I do also believe he's four star skills so uh, there's already some really fantastic Porto players and I really like the look of uh, perhaps building more Colombian stuff because Colombia look great this year. So in the centre forward position as a striker is Jabor. There's not really a lot to say about him. He doesn't look very good and that that's that really. Uh, striker is Ricky Lamb. A fantastic game against Aston Villa at the weekend. His, again, his stats aren't too good. He's got some nice shooting and heading, but I mean, you're still not really going to do a lot with the lack of pace, um, especially that you come up against in silver teams. And lastly in the starting 11 is Quagliarella. This guy has amazing long shot uh, and I'm sure it's boosted up even more with 85 shooting. The rest of his stats are okay, but what he kind of lacks in pace. So down on to the subs. Uh, where do the subs start? I believe it starts with this guy. So Ali Ahamada, because he wasn't up the top. Uh. Let me scroll through until we find the first... One that wasn't on there. So Ali Ahamada. This guy looks pretty good. Um, not too much increasing going on there. They, d I've noticed Foothead actually need to fix that bit because uh, it just shows the the player stats. But um, a nice bit of an increase. I'm not too sure this year about the lack of fully upgrading the players. They seem to be plus one or plus two at most. Whereas last year it seemed to be a bit more than that to properly reflect the player. But anyway, moving on. David Nugent, he looks quite good. 81 pace, 77 shot, not bad at all for a uh, for a striker and even better than his previous one. Look at that for a silver. Very, very good. Uh, then we have Mario again, pretty average guy here. Not really much improvement in his stats at all. Plus two pay, uh, shot, plus six passing, plus one pace. There's not a lot going on there for him. And then we have Marcos Asensal. This guy is going to sell for a lot. Brazilian silver always does, but he's also got a fantastic long shot and a very just general absolute beast. Everyone knows who he is, and he's great. 
Then we have Les TNA. He's a Belgian left winger. Uh, his shooting has improved quite a bit, dribbling a little bit, and that's about it really. Not too much going on in the rest of his stats. Then we have Davies of Barnsley scoring four goals in 19 minutes of the weekend, putting in an incredible performance, absolutely outstanding. And uh, he thoroughly deserves the upgrades that he's had. He's had a plus 21 and he's got now uh, 75 shot, which is brilliant. Uh, 41 passing, not too much of a boost. 70 pace, which will do the job. And his headings up as well, which is nice. And then last but certainly not least is Dean Bowditch. 79 pace and 71 shot for a bronze. Sadly, he's no longer a striker, but those stats are still absolutely deadly. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this team of the week. Sorry that it's a bit late. I'm hoping to get a squad builder up by 7.30. However, if EA don't get the servers back up at 6, it may be later or not at all. So thanks always for watching, guys. If you could leave a comment, down below let me know if you would like me to continue this for the rest of FIFA 13 I will happily do so if you guys show an interest in it and the main reason why I actually chose to do it is because Capcom Tom who I personally he's the person I watch each week for these he will no longer be doing it I believe because of his work so if you guys want me to keep doing these let me know in the comments below thanks always for watching I'll see you next time bye